Today we're going to talk about changing the links on these injectors um, when you replace the injectors on a 5.9 or a 6.7 Cummins. Hello and welcome to M&D Distributors Diesel University video learning series. With over 70 plus years in the diesel business in Texas, Oklahoma and Louisiana, we are eager to share what we've learned in the shop and under the hood and provide our customers with useful tech tip videos that you can put to work in your diesel repair shop today. Again, we're back to the injector and the link. And to get the, to the injectors out of these engines, you need to take off the rocker arm. Get that out of the way. This out of the way. And you have to pull this out and then you can raise up the injector. Because these two items they seal right here. And the, the importance of these, in, of these links, the modern day Cummins, they, they'll run about 25,000 PSI. And there is no gasket here. This is a metal to metal seal. So any leakage through here will cause you hard start, no start, or loss of power. Another reason, there's an edge filter in here, a sharp edge filter. And when this fuel is hit high pressure, it's pulsating, and any debris that gets past the fuel, the fuel filters gets pulverized before it gets into the injectors. So basically it has a filter in it and you have to change these. If you don't change these, think about it. The reason you're changing these injectors is because they're either wore out or they had fuel contamination. So if it has fuel contamination, then this is run, you should not reuse it. And just because of the age, just think of how many gallons of fuel has passed through this link and 100 to 200,000 miles. So you have to change these. And also if you don't, you can cause diagnostic issues because of the leakage here will have high flow and you'll, you'll, you may think it's got bad injectors when all it is is a, you're not getting a good connection here and it's causing your high return flow. But again, I have to stress, every time we change an injector in this shop, it always gets a link. M&D sells these in a tray of six. And again, I want to stress to you, you need to change these when you change our injectors. If you don't change them, you're not taking care of your customer and you're not taking care of the shop's reputation or anything like that because it will cause a comeback or even a catastrophic failure of the injector. But also, you can see right here, this is a cutaway and there's that edge filter we're talking about. And you, even this one has debris in it. And again, we're back to fuel contamination, age. These things wear out. The, the high pressure fuel will actually cut this edge filter. If you have a, a high pressure pump failure, it's going to put metal in here. So again, I cannot stress how important it is when you change an instead of injectors or one injector, you need to change these connectors. Okay, again, this is, the, this is a link. This is a link that's been cut in half so we can see what's inside. And right here is the edge filter. So you can get a look at that and you can see the sharp edges. Now some people will tell me, well, why clean these? You cannot clean these. These are not serviceable. Unless you can clean these at 25,000 pounds of fuel pressure, you cannot clean these. Thanks for stopping by and we hope you learned something new and useful that you can put to work in your shop today. If you'd like to see or hear more about us, stop on by our site at mddistributors.com today. We'd love to hear from you.